the word of the book of this prophecy, God will take away from that one his share from the tree of life and from the holy city, which is the new uh, Jerusalem. He's speaking about eternal life now. You see? He will be deprived from you. Because of what? If you take away from this, the book, or he's talking about the book of Revelation, obviously, or distorts. You know what distorts means? When you twist something. And this is what I have been emphasizing on in, in uh, several videos in this ministry. They twist the word of God, you see. They take the doctrine, they add things, they take away things, you see. A perfect uh, example of, uh, of uh, false uh, teaching is, uh, of course, the Roman Catholic Church, which has even taken away from the Ten Commandments. They take away the commandment that has to do with, you shall not make an image, you see. And this, by the way, is something that these uh, so-called charismatic ministers, all even America in the African continents, those that you, many of you consider as great uh, preachers and teachers, they approve of the Pope and the Roman Catholic Church. So they are all the company of the fake Christianity that will lead people to hell in the end time. Now is the end time, not tomorrow. This is the end time, and this would be just like I have shared, I don't know if it's two years ago, I shared a revelation I had in 2012 or 2011 maybe. The Lord told me that there will be a clear division between those who have the Holy Spirit and those who do not have the Holy Spirit, you see. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can see this, you can make a judgment by who is following the true doctrine. Those who are very strict on following the true doctrine for those that it is very important it's very important to them to to give and to render the word of God according to how Jesus gave it according to how the apostle gave it the Bible says that no one can lay another fundament than the Lord Jesus and the apostles you see so if you, you hear someone that have a new revelation a new revelation and uh, and and that show themselves as as someone great, you can see the boasting and the arrogance in their character. I even heard one of them um, speaking about, um, I mentioned Shepherd Bushiri. I heard this, uh, that you call him Grandpa, isn't it what you call him? What a shame. This is your Grandpa in the Lord, I don't know, whatever. What's his name? Angel. Uebert Angel. Some years I listened to him. He was standing there in arrogance in the nature of Satan. He stood in the nature of Satan. Satan nature, wake up people. It's not the spirit of God. He stood as a child of God displaying the nature of Satan, saying that he is above the word of God, even above the Bible, and he can come and give something that is beyond the word of God. And still you don't understand that it's, it's the son of Lucifer? Oh my God. My Lord. Sometimes I ask myself, does it even help for me to, to share these videos with you? Does it help for me to try to convince you about true doctrine? Does it help for me to try to make you wake up that is only the word of God as the Lord Jesus gave it that will lead you to paradise? That you will not stand before his throne and say that you cast out demons and you heal the sick and you work the ministry? You did against the law, the Bible says. The law you did against the word. The Lord takes his own word extremely seriously. Extremely true doctrine. That's why Paul, he was repeating. He had warnings again and again and again about true doctrine, false doctrine. False apostles masquerading, masquerading as servants of righteousness. But in reality, the truth is that they are agents of Satan. And attached to these warnings, he said they serve you a false gospel. Another, another gospel, you see.